Hello, and welcome to this tutorial. In this video we will go through how to communicate between a Schneider M221 PLC and a Siemens S7200 PLC using an OPC server from Kepware. In TIA portal I already added my PLC to the project. If we go to the Ethernet settings we want to make sure we have set an IP address to the PLC. Under the protection and security tab we want to make sure we have no protection that could disturb the communication to the OPC server. Now that's done I am gonna make a new data block with a send and a receive tag that will be linked to the OPC server. We also need to go to the blocks properties and attribution and uncheck the box that says optimized block access. If we now compile the program, it will give our two tags an individual address. In my main block I will make one rung with a memory bit that will send a signal to the OPC server. Then a second rung with a memory bit that can receive a signal from the OPC server. In Machine Expert I will do the same steps as in TIA Portal. First we need to set an IP address and remove any possible security settings that can prevent communication. Make sure that all the IP addresses are in the same subnet range. This means that the third parameter is same. And the fourth have an individual number. Next I will add my OPC tags and the memory bit tags to send and receive. Next we will make a similar program like in TIA portal. I kinda messed up the program in the video. 
I change this later to the correct program. In Kepware Kepserver EX we want to add both our PLCs to the project. First we click on add a channel. Then we choose Siemens TCP IP Ethernet. We also need to choose our computer's network card as the network adapter. Now to add a PLC we click on click to add a device. Then we choose the correct PLC model. Then we need to specify the PLC's IP address. To add a tag we right click and click new tag. Then we add the address of the tags we want to add. I will then do the same with the second tag. I will now add the M221 PLC to the project. For this PLC we will be using the Modbus TCP IP protocol. Same like the other channel we have to choose the computer's IP address. Then we add a new device. As the model here we stick with Modbus. And then we add the PLC's IP address followed by dot zero. Then we add the two tags. Now to link the tags together we want to click on advanced tags. Then we add a new tag and choose the tag type as link tag. On the input side I will choose the send tag from the Siemens PLC. And on the output side I will choose the receive tag from the Schneider PLC. That's basically all we need to do. I will do the same with the other two tags.
I will now go online on both PLCs and test out the connection. If I now trigger the send tag from TIA portal, the receive tag from machine expert will trigger. And vice versa when I trigger from machine expert. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe.